We are cleansed with the 1 0 advantage here. They win this next matchup. They will go on to win the series, which will then give them the overall three points for the battle. Same again, it's going to be. Hey, this guy, thank you for the chat. Welcome, guys. If you aren't already and you're new to the channel, guys, and you're entering the giveaway, exclamation mark CB Rivals, you have to be a follower to win as well. If you're not a follower, you cannot win. So make sure you hit that follow button and get involved. Before the next matchup, boys, we will choose that outcome here. We are clowns. We're the winners of that prediction there. And very good prediction for Robert this time round. It's going to be the same again. This time round, we are clowns are going to be attacking against Love and Devotion. Let me see what your what your predictions are for this next next matchup. Use your points, guys. Use your points. You gain points from watching the channel as well if you haven't already. Exclamation mark. Follow, boys. Follow. That's all you need to do. Follow. Exclamation mark. CB Rivals in the chat. 525 sovereigns up for grabs. Get involved, get involved, and enjoy the chance to win some overall goodies. At the end of this matchup, we will be... We will be getting involved. Let's see. Is, is the lobby up for the next one? We have got Love and Devotion versus Clips. It is up. The match is ready. I am in, ready for casting. We are good to go. What's your predictions, guys? We are cleansed. What is it? What is the prediction? What do you think? JM, you did a good job. did a good job, mate. It's a tough one. Iron Sky, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who is Love and Devotion from, JM? Is, am I right in saying that you guys are from Rose or are you guys from a mixture of like Eden players and Origin players? I know you're in the same alliance, right? So, you just both teams are in the same alliance and uh, EU1. That's all I know. But Rose have also got a Rose house as well. As, uh, Rose is in as well. So, I'm assuming somebody's put in big, big bucks here in the prediction. Some big, big bucks being put in. 10.1k goes from Aruro Awu. No votes on Love and Devotion side here. There's only three in the attack for We Are Clans. Get your predictions in, guys. Who's going to win this battle up? CB Rivals in the chat as well if you are getting entered into the giveaway. If you haven't already followed, do hit that follow. Gene Evan, why are you only following once again, my friend? Where have you been? What have you doing? How are you doing? Deep Conqueror. I, I am stretching in the background here, buddy. There you go, that. I'm stretching. I am stretching. We are stretching out. Definitely. We're going to run a quick minute ad break and while we are doing that, I will continue stretching. I have got massive bruise on my arm. It is smooth. My voice is fucked. I need to hydrate. You're right. You guys are right. I I do need to hydrate. Yo, 93 people in the chat. Guys, we're almost there. This is the last battle between Love and Devotion and We Are Clowns. Who's going to win? Get your predictions in. Also, 525 Sovereign giveaway available. Exclamation mark. CB rivals in the chat. You have to be following. And also, guys, if you aren't already following, you can't win. That's, that's, the, that's the rules. That's the name of the game, guys. It's the name of the game. If you aren't following, you can't win. 
waiting on a couple of more people to get into the lobby here and then we will get underway for the next matchup. It was a very good fight uh, for We Are Clans in the last one. The defence was pretty solid. Boys rotating very well. And the wife keeps messaging me up from downstairs in the bath saying, sounds like somebody else is upstairs in the house. <laughs> It is so funny. That's pretty funny. Not gonna lie, pretty funny. Guys, we're a five minute delay, so you are hearing things a little bit further behind than the chat will be going, but get yourself in. UT Forsaken. Oh, is that who it is, Ambient? Okay. Can we get over 100 people for this final matchup? That's going to be interesting. Can we get 100 people in? 100 people. Five hundred twenty-five sovereigns up for grabs, guys. The battle is about to commence. We will get rid of this webcam. We will go over for the last matchup of the evening. This time, is we are cleanse on the attack. Love and devotion in defense. Let's see how it's changed up here. Is there anything changed? Matchups are some pretty much similar as they were previously in terms of units and. Oh. We're seeing some claymores in there. We've got some IPGs. A couple of sets of claymores in there. The Dark O'Gree, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the clan. LNH is the team from EU, EU2 with members from Forsaken mostly. Stop telling me. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Ambient. Sorry. You left server, low. I... But that don't mean I don't play and I don't stream. Oh, Gene Evan, what do you mean? Exclamation mark CB rivals, though, Gene Evan, for your chance to win. Giveaways. Giveaways are up and going. Cat, you can get away from me just now. It'll be an interesting strategy this time around. How are they going to defend this time? Love and devotion on the defense. They just had an attack against We Are Cleanse and didn't manage to take B or C. Um, will they be able to defend B and C this time around? That is the question. We'll wait and see. Remember, guys, there's still seven more minutes here for you to put your predictions in prior to the end of this matchup. The Almighty says this must be a fashionable fight. It's drawn the finest people. I might end the submissions pretty quickly, though. Jedra, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody's leaving the match up, boys. We are resetting. End of game over. A reset of the match up, guys. They're leaving the bow. We're going to get a reset. It's CB Rivals. CB. Exclamation mark. CB Rivals. Conqueror's Blade Rivals. Sorry, it's my voice. My voice is screwed. Flint, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate it. GDR, thank you for the follow as well. They really do. I'm trying to hold my voice as much as possible. <laughs> Dark O'Gree. You ain't even in the battle. You ain't even in it. That's it, guys. That's it. That's how you enter it. CB Rivals. Just like the above. Copy and paste that one there, Dark Agree. That is it. You are now in. Have you? If you haven't followed, guys, you entered a bad thing where you just can't win. So you have to be involved. You have to be a follower of the channel, a supporter of the channel to get involved in the battle and to give your chance to win. The Almighty says this must be a fashionable fight. It's drawn the fight. Miss First, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a nice, nice little CB Rivals stream. Guys, if you haven't already followed it, this is the fourth week of CB Rivals. We are watching Clown. We are Clowns versus Love and Devotion. I was going to call them Clown Viesa. So far, 
it is We Are Clowns 1, Love and Devotion are 0. So this is going to be the final matchup. And this time round, We Are Clowns are on the attack. Keshik's and Falconetti Gunners are banned. There are no use of artillery. And because Dash 4 is broken for viewers, if you're over 15 v 15, you have to be on the CBL rules, which means you're only allowed to die three times. After that, you cannot come back alive. You are out of the game. You're out of the matchup. So very, very interesting strategy. We've got one more minute for predictions as well, guys. Who's going to win? Is it going to be We Are Cleanse? Is it going to be Love and Devotion? Will Love and Devotion hold their own on the defence in comparison to, well, like, pretty much how Clowns, We Are Clowns did it? We'll wait and see. Sorry about the voice as well. I really do apologise for me having no voice. But I'm glad you guys are still here listening in and watching these fights with me. Ninety one percent so far guys is going on the way of We Are Cleanse. So if you have went for love and devotion and the guys win this battle, you guys are gonna get a hefty payout on these channel points. A hefty payout. Make sure guys if you are joining the giveaway C B Rivals, please do get yourself a follow. Turn that follow on. If you're not following, you can't win. That is just how it is. Okay, so same strat, let's see, same idea, got all the same setups. We got all these players still carrying bombards, eh? People still have bombards at this point in time. I have still one, but I've never been in a position to be using one. Are you a streamer? Do you want to get involved? Nerd of Life. Yeah, Nerd or Die, guys, is a great website, just so you know. Yeah, Clowns Wars won the first game, Bambino. You are right. You are correct in that one. Now, the time has come. That hopefully, this time, we work out and it works out well. We've got two ballistas on the wall that always has to be taken out from most. We are going to jump up here and then we're going to do this. Underway, here we go. Underway, underway, underway. We're going to stay, take a look out here from Striker's point of view. Can we see what Striker sees here? There we go. Oh, there we go. That ballista is down. Both ballistas are down, which means no hero kills off of the start. Still 50v15. Heroes are watching, just have a nosy. SX is just checking, see what he can see before doing anything. The same strategy comes without any Falconetti gunners and without any use of artillery. Oh, there you go. Yen has picked up a kill. The first kill of the match goes to Yen versus SX. He must have came up onto the wall and got grabbed or stolen away. That's it. One down on the attack. And as a as a dual blade, it will be very difficult to try and keep yourself in and out, in and out. Like, he's a great player, but... Yeah, so these siege towers will all meet by the looks of it. Javelin sergeants are trying their hardest here to try and take out the siege tower. Can they take any siege tower out of the game? I do, I'm not entirely sure if that will happen. The last cannon is taken off of the wall, and that is it. That's it, done here. So now this is where Love and Devotion, most likely, where they all retreat back off the wall. Overlook has fell off the wall, though. Has anybody noticed? Yes, they have. Dunko has noticed. Dunko's going to try and knock him off, and he keeps knocking him. There he goes. Overlook overcommits and falls off the wall unintentionally and dies. So that's one of his free lives out for no reason whatsoever. There was no need for him to even be on the edge, but he pushed him too far. The Almighty says this must be a we are clans at EU1. Mr. Deep Sense, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. There we go. We're going to get A taken here. Ami is going to be having a wee nosy around to see what's there. SX is going to get the supply point up on the right hand corner, and Love and Devotion will set up here now for the rotation of Dassel Fort here. 
Where are they going to defend from? What points are they going to defend? Are they going to defend like we are cleansed on top of the stairwell and on the stairwell, or are they going to be off of the stairwell? We'll wait and see. We've seen both both plans go and work out well. We are clans are going to have to have an interesting strategy here though, because everybody's pushed that have failed so far on the attack have pushed in one way, in one direction. You've got we are clans all going towards this supply point area coming down the stairwells at B. E1 noob server. Best server? What do you mean? You've got Marcelo, Numchik, Samurai Kek W on B point and holding B point. You've got Mixu and oh, we've got units. Yeah, this is it. They've kind of split a couple of heroes up either side. Flynn and M MXU are uh, staying on that right stairwell here, focusing up, just trying to be like we are here so that they have to keep heroes there on the deep end. Trying to overcommit members. If you can overcommit members anywhere, well, that's a very interesting treb. I I don't know if that was a misplaced treb or it was just too far. It was probably just too far. He was trying to take the cab out just a little bit too far. We are clans sitting up on the wall though, trying to set up units here that can do some damage. You've got some javelin sergeants dealing some damage through the, the wall here, trying to get into the little archway, but with no avail. We've got still two heroes on that side. Still got six to seven heroes on this right hand side. Well, everybody else is on the left hand side. But this is it from Wheat Love and Devotion. Clever idea, just rotating around the center point here. Gives you option either way, depending on where the push comes in from. So we've got Imperial Spear Guards up here. They're getting used a lot more here. Solid defense, so a lot more defense strategies getting used for them. You've got Overlook using his bombs and the muskets to try and whittle down the defensive side structure here. We've got a couple of heroes, Silver Ox and Tesu, moving around the corner here, just trying to deal some damage to their units. That's all it's about. They're using the ranged classes, Longbows, Amia, Essex kicks here. Using long range units, long bows, short bows, muskets, everything just to deal units because there's no artillery. So that's the best way to kind of whittle down the units, maybe kill some units as you get there. Um, 13 trebs still available. Amius fell off the wall. I'm not entirely sure if that was intentional, but he uses his backflip to get out of there and he's back up on the wall again. We've got Nami, he's pushing quite far forward for the long bow. Not going to lie, that's a very interesting strategy. The treb comes in, but. Nobody is there. Now, nobody in the way of that treb. But just setting up here for the attack. All just holding off here. Got good sets of units here on the wall. Palace guards. You've got javelin sergeants. Javelin sergeants trying to deal some damage down here to any of the cav and any of the units down there. We've got Namcans. Is that Namcans? Namcans on the attack. Yeah, we've got Namcans and ball boys. Javamil with Ball Boys, fantastic unit if you can uh, use it well and you can keep them out of danger. But yeah, they're all kind of still got a lot of them on the supply point area on the defense. Set of modals in the gateway there that stops anybody pushing for straight away to get onto the point. But we are clans are deciding to change it up. We've only got seven minutes, remember, it's not a long time. You have to cap B or C here. They're trying to do a full rotation around here though. Sending units both different directions here. It's going to confuse them. They're going over the back wall here and they're also going over the front wall here. They're going to go push C from two different sides. Got to use trebs very well and cleverly here but so far four trebs have been used and four trebs have missed nothing. They've hit nothing with it. No damage numbers, no nothing. Very interesting but we are clans are normally a lot better with their trebuches. Winkrow using a treb. A little bit of a better placement, I think, of this one is. We'll wait and see, but it does seem to be moved. Units are moving off of the point. The palace guards stopped moving there as well, and literally another mistreb. A very unorthodox treb, but mistreb. They're not pushing enough to be able to use these trebs well. I think that is the case. Now they're pushing down the stairwell. They're pushing both sides at the same time now. Both stairwells being trebed. We're, uh, we're all trebbing now where the units might rotate to and from. Are these prediction trebs just not the right placement? They're definitely not in the right placement. We are clans just missing these trebs. So many chance chances, but so many missed trebs. 
I noticed to try and pull units off of it. Chimpy Fall, Samurai Kick, you picking up that kill there. You've got Dunko, there's a lot of heroes on the attack dying there. We are clowns are down to 11 on the attack. Again, picking up King Dinko. Fight's both going on, but they are getting in here and around the back. SX, they don't have any units though. The units are all over the place. Iron Reapers are coming, but they're so slow. And their charge is going to miss. A lot of the units not going to get anywhere near it. They're going to get pushed off. There's only he eight heroes alive on the attack. Treb coming in though. On the supply point. Will they be able to back off before this Treb comes in? Units coming in. Flynn's going to get his units of Iron Reapers trebbed as well. That might be devastating. Doesn't seem to have hit that many though. B is getting capped though. We're going to have to see a quick caps. SX, X, uh, SX is kicking. Oh, Essex kicks. My God, my voice. I was trying to cap a little bit of B, but there's only nine heroes alive from We Are Clans, Love and Devotion. Defending well, whoever put predictions on for Love and Devotion, you guys might be getting a major payout at this point in time. We are halfway, five minutes left. They need to cap B or C here. Javamil has been killed in battle. Armageddon picks him up with a short bow. You've got some people over pushing GM, overlook over pushing here. Buffy also dies. In terms of deaths here, we're going to have to look at the strategy guide here. Seven heroes have only died. Eight heroes make that eight on the defense. Thirteen on the attack. But we're back to fifteen on the attack and twelve on the defense alive. We are clowns are setting back up on the B side for the next attack. Where are they going to do it? How are they going to do it this time around? Very difficult map without Falconetti Gunners, without artillery. Definitely. I thought I'd see a lot more Senjis used, a lot more bomb ball boys used. They're they're there, but they're just not being used. Uh, not using the bombs, not getting the, the damage numbers. Flynn falls to his death here. There goes Tesho as well. But that was obviously just delayed because these fights are not going on. It's just now. There we are. We are, we are clans pushing once again. Doing a similar strategy, coming down the stairwell. Amiya is going to go onto that supply point and hold off the supply point as much as possible so they can't re establish units and re heal units. But they need to get onto that supply point as quickly as they can. They are doing a pretty good job of it here. Java will call in the Treb on the stairwell, which is a great position for a Treb. Treb hits the Palace Guards. That is a better Treb this time around. We are clans pushing down the stairwell. They've gained a bottom of that stairwell here. And they have the unit advantage here. And hero advantage on the sea stairs as well. So what happens here? We're going to have to wait and see. 13 heroes left on the defence. They've got the numbers. The calf charge comes in. Calf charge is good. Pushes off the units here. And the heroes, Teso and Amya, on the supply point. They're holding the supply point as long as possible. While B is being capped. Dunko killing Yen here if he can. To keep on the B point push. The supply point is being pushed off though. And they're down to 11 on the defense. We are clans gaining the momentum here. 10 heroes versus 12. On the attack. They've got the supply point. Now they have to push towards either one of C the points. C or B here. To give themselves the momentum. They want to push past C. And keep the units set up on C here. And get up. One of the points for that extra time. We're at 2 minutes 30. They need to do it now. They need to push past C. They're on C. They're capping it. But there's no units here. And the units are coming from Love and Devotion. Will they come? Or will they hold off? Looks like Love and Devotion are holding off the defence of it. So they're going to be able to grab B and C here. We Are Clowns did a great attack there on that. They pinched them from both sides. And managed to get the units set up. And take this whole control of the supply point. That supply point is key. If you can get the units stopped on that supply point and can't get heroes grabbing any units out, that definitely makes it a lot better for the attack to push. We are going to be getting extra minutes added here. This will push us up to around about eight minutes left for the attack. We are clans have time to kind of find out their strategy here for pushing the home point. They're going to grab the supply point on the top right hand corner here. But very good job done. I don't know what happened there. We're going to jump back to the supply point. Winkrow's trying to kill the units that are retreating here. That's a good amount of units to be taken out of the battle here. 523 units difference here as well. 
We're down a lot of units here for love and devotion. We are clowns have the unit advantage and definitely need to push at some point here with the trebs. They've got seven trebs to use. Very open space here. How is this going to pay out? How is this going to work out? Am you picking up Elak here? 13 heroes alive on Love and Devotion side. We are cleansed. Seven trebs setting up both sides here. They've got the supply point units all kind of getting ready to set up here. We are clans might have this still. They have time. They have seven minutes to push this. Essex with the treb. Is the treb going to come in nicely here and wipe out some of the units that are retreating back onto it? The units are staying. The treb is coming, but it's a long distance to travel. It does pick up some units, but not as much as it would have hoped. 558 units. Getting a little cap in there. Palace guards rotating back and forward here. This is a great fight. Flynn with another trebuchet. Where is this treb going to hit? A long treb. People have got to predict where this treb's going to go. You've got plenty of time. Javelin sergeants went on down units as well. Treb doesn't really connect to very much there. Overlook making sure he stays off of the point. The fight is on the point just now. We've got GM falling to his death from Essex. Palace guards on the point though to hold that cap so nobody can cap it. The Java Mill coming in from the back, along with Burning, Kagging, and are they going to get units in here quick enough to be able to push in here? For a Brasho on the defense here. We are clowns are pushing forward with the ISGs. They're slowly pushing this death box forward onto the point. They're gaining momentum onto the point, on the home point here. Well, they also push in here from the left hand side. Palace guards being used very well here against Fort Brasho. The Fort Brasho moving behind. And are ready to pull off the units. We are clowns. Have the number advantage on the home cap. They have so much units and heroes on the cap. Now this is all about getting the pinch in. Getting the trebs in place. And this will be we are clowns fight if they can hold them off here. Very great push here. Very well organised from EU one side. We are cleansed, our capping, couple of heroes alive. There's only he or he eight heroes alive from We Are uh, from We Are uh, Love and Devotion. Excuse me. Octavian staying on as the short sword. He pops iron sides. He will stay on there for as long as possible. Giaz staying on as long as possible. But they're going to be able to cap off the supply, the reinstall of units. Four heroes alive. We are clowns are capping and that looks like we are clowns will pick up the victory on the attack. They have well done. What a fight that was. The difference, a couple of hero kills, 15 hero kills difference for we are clowns. Also about 300 unit kills difference as well, which makes a massive difference in terms of that. Great trebs near the end, better trebs later on. It was a very good strategy, as you can see. We are cleansed using the ISGs, using the strong defense, pushing the, the the death boxes forward, and just slowly pushing. There's not, there was no rush. As soon as they got B and C, the good, the good pinch uh, on the supply point there. It was looking rough, but they did push from two different directions on both stairwells. Great job of it. Managed to push the momentum with the hero advantage, and grabbed the supply point and. Stop the reinforcements of uh, Love and Devotion. After that, pushes everybody out. And you know what? Very, very good job. Defence is very difficult with seven minutes to do. Very difficult to do with seven minutes. That is a, is a rough fight. And I really do...